वेलकम डियर फ्रेंड्स अगेन टू माय चैनल अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स दिस इज माय लेक्चर फोर्टी ऑफ द सीरीज फोर्टी ऑफ द सीरीज इन दिस वेरी लेक्चर ऑफ माइंड आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू इनफॉर्म यू अबाउट द मेजर फैक्टर्स एफेक्टिंग Bearing capacity, the major factors affecting bearing capacity of foundations resting on soils. So, dear friends, what I need to explain you all today is that I have explained you about uh, few of uh, how field testing is done about IS one eight nine two two thousand twenty one IS one four nine eight classification of soils. etc and how what should be the method of <coughs> deciding the number of boros the depth of boros and the location of boros for any particular structure when we move for their geotechnical investigation at site the important contents which need be the constituent essential constituent parts of the geotech investigation report and now comes the method of calculating bearing capacity but before but before moving to that very particular lecture of mine today i will be discussing with you about the factors impacting the major factors affecting the bearing capacity of foundations resting on soils so dear friends what i need to say is कि वॉट एवर द काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर जहाँ हम इन्वेस्टिगेशन करने जाते हैं मे इट बी बिल्डिंग्स ओवर एट टैंक्स ट्रांसमिशन लाइन टावर्स ब्रिजेस बॉक्स कलवर्स एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा व्हेन वी स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग द जो टेक्निकल इन्वेस्टिगेशन रिपोर्ट वी हैव टू assume certain dimensions of foundations a particular type of foundation to be adopted at a certain depth of foundation based on the kind of structure for which very structure we are going to prepare the report now the number one factor is the shape of foundation The shape of the foundation may be square, rectangular, or circular. This ke basis pe we calculate shape factors, jo ki me apne for the lecture me apko batao. The size of foundation, that is the dimension of the proposed foundation, whether it is a strip footing or a square footing or a rectangular footing or a circular footing. If it is a square footing, its length and width will be equal. If it is a rectangular footing, length and width will be would be different and if it is a circular footing it would have a diameter concern the depth of footing the depth of the foundation proposed below the natural ground level where it is to be rested number 4 is the inclination of the load to the vertical in degree because hamari jyada tar foundations vertically to the base of the foundation rehti isliye this is being referred to as alpha this is being referred to as alpha now the fifth point is the inclination of foundation base or of ground as in hill and slopes because in certain cases your foundation base may be tilted may you have to build the foundation in horizontal direction on a sloping ground and likewise Point six. The cohesion and angle of internal friction of the soil layer at which or where you are proposing your foundation for that very particular structure to be rested below the natural ground level, which is being referred. If we say it is depth, which is being referred as. Here, below the natural ground level, this cohesion and angle of internal friction we find out 
on the samples being collected from the site and after doing necessary investigation in the laboratory this cohesion and angle of internal friction you may get by direct shear method or traction method and other things i have already discussed with you people in my previous lectures now coming to the density of soil above the foundation level which is being used for calculating overburden q surcharge density of soil below foundation level where we keep our foundation below the natural ground level and this is the location where shear forces act soil fails in shear etc that is the density of soil below foundation level at this very particular location at this very particular location this one and density of our foundation level is the density we use for this much ye jo hamara df hai sorry ye df jo hamara hai ye density hum use karte hain is level ki or density of our foundation level and this is the density we find with in our prepared result sheet that is the density below foundation level <coughs> now the bearing capacity factors which are being referred to as tazagi's bearing capacity factors and it depends upon the phi angle of internal friction found out at this very particular founding level and the position of ground water table that is where actually is the ground water table position in reference to the natural ground level it may be in between the natural at the uh, natural ground level it may be in between the natural ground level and the proposed founding level it may be at the proposed founding level and it may be at a certain depth below the founding level which i will be discussing separately when i will be covering a lecture on this very topic ground water table how it affects the bearing capacity and how this w dash fact this w dash water table correction factor need be considered in calculation now additionally what i wish to say in this lecture of mine at last is bearing capacity its method of analysis is actually based and dependent on relative density and void ratio which we get from our test results जिसमें हमारा स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी और ड्राई डेंसिटी का रोल होता है एंड वर्ड रेशो इज स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी अपॉन ड्राई डेंसिटी माइनस वन एंड रिलेटिव डेंसिटी इज ई मैक्स माइनस ई नेचुरल अपॉन ई मैक्स माइनस ई मिनिमम ऑफ द सॉइल प्रेजेंट एट द फाउंडिंग लेवल जो कि विच एवर आई एम या वी आर प्रपोजिंग फॉर दैट वेरी पर्टिकुलर फाउंडेशन फॉर द रिस्पेक्टिव स्ट्रक्चर तो डियर फ्रेंड्स आई विश कि हमारी आने वाली इस कनेक्टिंग सीरीज के आप सारे लेक्चर देखेंगे तब आप लोगों को बेरिंग कैपेसिटी कैलकुलेशन तक का जो मेथड और वे जो स्टेप्स हैं यू विल ऑल बी एबल टू वेरी क्लियरली नो दैट तो कीप ऑन वाचिंग नाउ माय अपकमिंग नेक्स्ट लेक्चर जिसमें मैं आप लोगों को शेप फैक्टर्स डेप फैक्टर्स और इंक्लेशन फैक्टर्स के बारे में डिस्कस करके कुछ बताऊँगा विच विल बी द लेक्चर फोर्टी of my YouTube channel Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Hope आपको ये लेक्चर मेरा पसंद आया होगा Keep on watching and further sharing my lectures. Keep on subscribing to my YouTube channel Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Thank you, thank you.